So this is going to be a little bit of a different day. We're going to do everything with a little bit of pace. So we're going to drop down to one knee. Again, if you have achy knees, you can put a pad or a rolled up towel under your knee. And we're going to start with thoracic twist. And the first few of them we're going to do slow. But as we go, I want to start moving a little bit faster and a little bit faster. So mobility is meant to be dynamic, especially in the golf swing. So if all we ever do is move slow and controlled during our exercise program, that's not actually going to get us prepared for golf. If we want to prepare for golf, we have to have dynamic movement. We have to have speed, especially if you're trying to improve your distance. You've got to learn to swing the club fast. Without fast club speed, you are never going to hit the ball very far. We're going to do this for about another 10 to 15 seconds. And you can feel free to use your knee for a little bit of leverage so you can turn farther. But don't sacrifice the pace part of the movement because we really want to get these joints moving in the upper back, thoracic spine, the rib cage, everything. Great, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Readjust your pad if you need one. And we can start the first few a little bit slower if you want. But no matter what, we're gonna get the speed going a little bit faster as we go. Well, we've got about 20 seconds in us for these turns. Again, trying to open the chest up as far as you can. You're gonna see pretty much my whole back shown to the camera here, so you can really get an idea of how far we're turning. Again, feel free to use that knee for leverage. Sorry, going a little bit fast there. That's okay. Lost my balance. Just regain it and keep going. Now five, four, three, two, and one. And one for good luck. Perfect. Now we're going to come up. We're going to do a dissociated thoracic twist. So I want to get my feet in set up posture. I want my hips glued and locked down because my hips are not going to move at all. And I'm just going to move my upper back. And again, I'm going to start slow. And this is what we call dissociation, where my shoulders move, but my hips stay still. And as we get going, we're going to make that happen a little bit faster. I'd rather see your hips look like they're in poured concrete and can't go anywhere with less movement from your upper back than I would to see a ton of movement from your upper back, but a bunch of movement from your hips as well. The golf swing has got to be a piece by piece thing. One of the most important things with power, you see my video on kinetic sequence, is separating our hip and upper back movement. And I'm guessing if you've done a good job keeping your hips still, you can already feel your upper back getting a little bit tired, probably feeling a little bit of stretch too. About another five seconds, four, three, two, one. You can stand up, shake it out for just a second. Then we're going to make our way into a frame twist. So feet shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit farther. Bend forward, put your forearm right between your knees. Other hand comes to the ground and we're going to start swinging open. And again, I know you've probably seen some of these videos where I'm going the slow and controlled, but today we're all about pace. So you can feel free to get a little bit of momentum into it. We've got about 10 more seconds here. We're reaching all the way for that opposite toe, and then as open as we can, really aiming the chest over at the wall. And three, two, one. Come up if you need a break. If you don't need a break, go ahead and drop your forearm again down, hand to the opposite foot, and start swinging open. We're gonna get about 15 to 20 total seconds of this. Again, you can use a little momentum here. That's okay, we use momentum in the golf swing all the time. And just like you hear me say over and over, you should get the principles of the golf swing into your training program, which is like, which is why we like to move dynamically and sometimes with a little bit of pace. Five, four, three, two, one, and one extra for good measure. Stand on up, shake it out, take a deep breath, especially if you're holding your breath. 
going to thank you for joining me again, and I will see you tomorrow on another of our 30-day golf flexibility challenge. Thanks.